calculate the mass of ethyl chloride formed if 4.66 grams of ethylene reacts with an 89.4% yield. So what we want to do is start by determining the stoichiometric amount of ethyl chloride produced from 4.66 grams of ethylene. Then we can just take 89.4% of that amount to get the answer. So, okay, we're starting with 4.66 grams of ethylene. Now we want to convert this to moles, so then we can move to another substance in the chemical reaction. So to convert to moles, we need the molar mass of ethylene. Atomic weight of carbon is 12.011. Atomic weight of hydrogen is 1.008. So 28.054 grams of ethylene for every mole of ethylene. So 28.054 grams of ethylene for every one mole of ethylene. Okay, so now that we're in moles, we can use stoichiometric equivalencies to get to ethyl chloride. So this chemical equation is balanced. And so with that, we see that for every one mole of ethylene consumed, one mole of ethyl chloride is produced. Okay, so now we just need to convert from moles of ethyl chloride to grams of ethyl chloride. So we have C2H5, we just need to add an extra hydrogen and then add an extra chlorine. So add a 1.008 to this, and then now molar mass of chlorine is 35.45. 64.512. Okay, so for every one mole of ethyl chloride, we have 64.512 grams of ethyl chloride. So now when we multiply this out, we're going to have the number of grams of ethyl chloride that are produced stoichiometrically from 4.66 grams of ethylene. But now what's actually yielded is 89.4% of this. So we're just going to multiply this by 0.894, and that will give us the, the answer. Nine point five eight grams of ethyl chloride. 